Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. Man, I swear. I don't know about y'all, but it seems like the month of April just went by so fast. And we are almost in May. We only have two more days in this month. And then we are in May, which is great. Um, But I'm excited because to kick off May, we are going to be having my Vibe and Paint party. And we are just going to really, really have a good time and be good and just make some good memories. So I can't wait. Um, Ladies, uh, make sure that you are dressed for the occasion. It's either going to be black, white, gold, all three, or whatever. When I say gold, you know, I think of like accessories and stuff like that. But who knows? I mean, shoot, this is black and gold. My saint's outfit, it's got fire on it. So, just as a suggestion on different ways of working out that black, white, and gold. But I'm excited. Um, anyway, Bible study last night was so good. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Because it is true, you never know how much influence you have out there. And you don't want to be putting out the wrong things to people. But then also, I want people to understand is that look at the growth from a lot of people. From when they're where they were all the way up to where they are now like for instance an example by me my old past timeline history and everything of me kicking it and clubbing and all that stuff my life has totally changed my life has totally shifted The stuff that you would have seen on my, you know, uh, on my timeline and stuff is nowhere near who I am today. So my influence is always going to be strive to be a better you. One thing that stood out the most a couple sermons ago when Mr. Um, When Pastor Dennis was speaking to us. One of the words that kept playing in my head is, I am more than what I look like. I am more than what I look like. I may look like a thug or a wild child or whatever people want to call it. But baby, the spirit, the God, the love. The light and everything that shines on in me, people wish they had. Because I used to walk around in darkness. I used to walk around with an attitude. I used to walk around and people would call me an equal opportunity hater. Anybody could get it. Now, the light, the love, the passion that I have in my life. Is unlike any other in the world. So I always encourage you that your life doesn't have to be the way that you made it. Because a lot of us then made our paths because we chose to do drugs or fight or steal or do the crazy things we chose that path so we have to live with every consequences of our choices there's always consequences to our choices but the big difference is If you know that is not who you are, if you know that is not the life that you want to live or portray, 
then you know that you can ask her for forgiveness, be transformed, and live in a new life with Christ. Some people will say that's cliche, but I'm honestly going to tell you, the closer I get to God, the more blessed I am in life. I'm talking about mentally. I'm talking about physically. Good morning. I'm talking about spiritually. I'm talking about from the head to your feet. Things feel different. The atmosphere is different when you're walking with him. You don't wake up with an attitude anymore. You don't wake up with depression anymore. You don't wake up in darkness anymore. Everything shifts when you welcome God into your life. Straight up. And I'm just keeping it one right. So today with y'all, I leave y'all with look at yourself in the mirror. Wrap your arms around yourself and acknowledge you are more than what you look like. You are more than what your circumstance is. You are more than what your past is. Everything about you is part of what made you great today. Because our past is our testimony. I know there's some good stories out there that a lot of y'all don't even share. But as y'all ride with me, y'all know I'm going to share every bit with you. Now, before I let y'all lovely folks go today, I am going to armor up with y'all as we do on a daily because we cannot leave no parts of us uncovered. Amen. Father God, I thank you so much for waking us up every morning. I thank you for forgiving us for anything of where we have stepped out of bounds in alignment with you. I thank you for being able to wake up to my children to see them take their breath. I thank you for the jobs that we have to be able to provide to our families. I thank you for the stability. I thank you for everything that you have gotten us through, especially this pandemic. I thank you for your healing. I thank you for ooh, the healing that you've done on my heart, my mind, and my soul. I thank you for bringing me closer to you each and every day. I thank you for the relationship that you have established between us, between all of us. I thank you for helping rise up this young generation for what people thought would never happen. We are definitely standing up. We are definitely the sent ones. And I thank you for the honor of letting us serve you, Father. I thank you for the honor of letting us unite and serve your people, Father. I thank you for all the blessings. I thank you for all the trials. I thank you for everything that has yet to happen, that has already happened, that is happening in the name of Jesus. I ask that you touch on all that need healing, all that need comfort, all that are suffering from any kind of ills, any kind of losses, any kind of disabilities. I ask that you touch on them right now in the name of Jesus. I ask that you touch on anyone suffering from any kind of ill, anyone suffering from COVID-19. I rebuke it out of our world, out of our lives. It has no power or authority in any of us. And I just thank you and I love you because you are the healer, Jehovah Rapha, the King of Kings. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' name, the law, hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. I'm learning. Are you okay today? Yeah, I am. How are you? I was trying not to interrupt you. When I hear you talking, I, I want to make sure I'm not so loud that I'm interrupting what you're doing. <laughs> oh, 
just praying, just praying, armoring up for our day, covering us all. How are you doing? I am blessed. Good. How about good. you? Pretty good today. It's my Amen. Friday, so. Amen. I'm looking forward to the end of my day. I heard that. <laughs> Have you seen Already? my dad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you seen my dad? Is he out and about? He has been oh, out and so about. I'm surprised he hasn't come yeah. by here. Yeah, and I've been here since, uh, since my fifth day in the row, so I've been here for the last five days. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him because he was down the street kicking it with his brother, having coffee and everything. He's breaking my heart. I'll tell him. All right. I'll see you later, beautiful. Love y'all. Ooh, y'all, I don't know if I said amen. But amen. <laughs> you know, when you get to in, in certain places, you can't just not speak. This 7 Eleven right here on Desert Inn and Eastern is my store. I love them people. And I tend to connect with almost everybody in 7 Eleven if they're willing to talk. Some people be so miserable at their jobs, their everyday lives, and all that stuff. My thing is this. I understand that we have to support our families and all that. But if that job is not where you're happy at, then you need to start setting your life up to get to where you want to be at. Stop complaining. Stop being miserable. Stop hating on everybody else because you hate your job. A lot of us hate our jobs and we'll take it out on everybody else <laughs> instead of getting where we need to be in life so we can be happy. Amen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Gotta keep it 100. Because we can sit here and pretend all day. But when I stopped accepting any and everything, I started finding my happiness. I started getting where I needed to be in life. I started growing and elevating. I am no longer that woman, that girl, that afterthought. Anything and everything I do is going to be for the better of not only me, my children, or anybody I deal with. Because I want better for all of us. I want peace for all of us. I want success for all of us. And I must keep speaking it into the atmosphere. You hear me? But anyway, y'all, hit the replay. I know it unbounced on a couple subjects, but in the end, it all ties into one. When you look at the bigger picture. I love you, sis. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, and y'all know, we only a few days left until the first. If you plan on communing with us queens on the first, I suggest you get with me if you're not able to buy your ticket online. If you're not able to pay the full price, that's fine. Talk with me. But just know, this is going to be the kickoff of May. And I would hate for any of y'all to miss this event. We are going to be dressed. We are going to take pictures. We are going to eat good. We are going to paint a beautiful canvas. And we're going to have a mixture of just different minds, different personalities, different hearts. For me, what I've learned from each of my painting sessions, that it's a form of healing, that it's a form of therapy, that it's a new way in life that some people have never experienced before. And I thank each and every last one of you for letting me bring a part of me into your life. 
I love y'all. If no one loves you today, Alicia loves you. Straight up. You have a friend, a family member, a sister, in me. Like, share, follow, show some love. And each time that you share our candid conversations lives, you will be entered into our raffle to win a candid basket. I look forward to communing and meeting with all of you. Talk to you later.